Hello, here's another video. This one's by request. Thank you for requesting this video, uh, Nanette Tracy. Um, here's the factory um, ornament that I really don't like very much. Uh, the one on the left is one that I had redone. I made it for my niece, but I wanted one, so I'm redoing this factory one to um, look similar to the other one. I actually like how it turned out even better. And let me know in the comments what you think, if it turned out better than the one I was originally trying to make it look like. I was starting to remove the factory paint with this battery operated nail file and it just wasn't removing it fast enough so I turned to um, my electric one and that one is coming up pretty soon here and I'm going to be um, instead using that one to remove the rest of the factory paint. Look at that clean face. She is prepped and ready to go. Here's the polish we're gonna be using. I used one from Icing. Now, what I would really rather do would be to use a gel polish so I don't have to wait for it to dry. But um, in this situation, I used this one. I didn't have a purple um, in my gel polishes that I liked for this, so I just used a regular polish. I did a pretty thin layer um, so it didn't take too long to dry and one of the reasons I did a thin layer is because I'm actually putting a um, <clears throat> dry um, like powder glitter um, and you'll see me do that here in just a few moments. And here I go, applying the fine glitter so that um, it'll really sparkle and it just sticks to that polish really nicely. I'm just tapping off the excess so I can save it and don't have it getting all over the place. And I'm just doing the same with the other side of the face. You can even do this with dolls and things like that. Um, I'm not sure if you can get these little ornaments online still, but um, you can do it with dolls' faces, dolls' heads. I know a lot of people are home on lockdown right now, um, being under quarantine and things like that. So I'm, you know, trying to make some videos to uh, give you some inspiration for things to do while you're at home, even. Sometimes it's a little difficult to get that sharp end right there. And in a second here, I'm going to show you how you can do it just using your thumb, taking out any of that excess polish that you don't need there so you can sharpen off that edge. All right, and here we're going in with that same fine glitter as on the other side of the face. I'm just tapping it off here so that um, it doesn't all go in one place and you just evenly disperse it as you're shaking it out. And then just tap it off 
Um, I like to use a snapping motion um, right here. You can see me doing that just to get all of the excess off. And I put that glitter on over a piece of paper for a reason so that I can take that glitter and pour it back in um, with the paper uh, to not waste um, very much glitter because it does use a lot if you just waste it. And what I'm doing with this um, mask on the um, ornament's face is kind of like a butterfly. So in the down her, um, bridge of her nose, I'm just doing this uh, green. Now I didn't have a green that I really uh, liked very much, so I used uh, two greens and put them together. And I'm just kind of shaking it off onto the bridge of the nose to cover that area with the fine glitter. Now we're taking off the factory feathers and I'm going to be adding my own feathers with a hot glue gun. And I'm just adding some flowers that I had ready. I don't think you can even really see these flowers in the finished product, but I always like to have them there just in case. And I'm just cutting the feathers down to the size that I want them to be for the desired look that I'm going for. You of course can do whatever you would like, smaller, larger, it really doesn't matter. Whatever your um, style and design is that you want it to be, this is just what I'm doing for this one. I've been wondering too if there is even a market for these. Um, so let me know in the comment section if I were to sell these online, if you would buy them. And just add feathers to your liking, whatever color, whatever uh, design, style. Um, I like to use different feathers for different things. Um, I like to alternate and combine different types of feathers. So um, whatever your, your design is when in the one that you're doing, um, if you do these, then... Um, and just do whatever you see fit for what you're uh, trying to achieve with it. And I apologize, you don't get to see me do all the feathers. My phone stopped recording, but you can kind of make out what I did here. I ended up using those bright purple, uh, the small feathers that are right there in the front uh, that I took off from the factory um, design in the beginning. And I'm going to be adding these um, fake eyelashes. They are such a pain. Um, First I curved them, as you can see that one is, the other one's kind of flat, you can see that's the, um, the way they come from the factory, but I curved it so it would fit inside the eye a little bit easier. And just to uh, fill in and make it look complete, I put a real actual uh, eyeliner um, on the eye and just uh, filled that in uh, surrounding the bottom top and giving it a little wing there. Not that you have to do this step, but I just think it looks more complete when you do.
And the reason I said those lashes are a pain is because um, I was trying to put them on with hot glue. I've tried to do it before with the E6000 glue, and they are just so difficult. Here I'm just adding a few uh, little feathers to kind of cover up the um, stem of that feather there. So I'm adding these little softer um, single um, feathers. I don't even know what they're called actually. Um, just adding those to kind of complete it and then adding one going the other direction just to make it look um, really full and really um, nicely finished off. Those lashes though were no joke. I mean, this thing took me so long just because of the lashes and the eyes that I ended up doing. Now, if you didn't wanna do the eyes, you don't have to. Um, but the eye, when I did it, ended up pushing out the eyelashes. It really was very difficult. I mean, this is only a 12 minute and some second video, but this took me all day to do this one um, ornament. So I really hope you guys like it. And um, if you do want to try one of these, just know it's going to take a long time. Um, the lips, you might want to use a thinner um, brush for these. Um, I just do this this way because um, I don't want to use another brush that I have to keep for this kind of thing, um, but I would suggest using a thinner brush if you don't really know what's uh, going to happen with the polish when you put it on. And here is the final product. All right, don't forget to let me know what you think in the comments section. I really love it with the eyes. I hope you do too. Thank you so much. Don't forget to subscribe, thank you, and be blessed.